Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Destiny Island's Top 10. The Kingdom Hearts series is known for some of its difficult boss battles, and there's no argument that some of its most difficult came from the series' second main installment. This is our countdown of the top 10 hardest bosses in Kingdom Hearts 2. To clarify, these are bosses that are difficult not because of how tedious or annoying they are, but based solely on the difficulty of the adversary. Furthermore, this list will only include bosses from the original Kingdom Hearts 2, and therefore no bosses from Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Lastly, this list is limited to mandatory boss battles from the main story. No secret bosses allowed. That means you, Sephiroth. Absurd. Number 10, Prison Keeper, Halloween Town First Visit. Barely making it in our list at number 10 is the Prison Keeper, the Heartless that absorbs Lock Shock and Barrel's essences to engage in various styles of fighting. The main difficulty in this boss lies in hitting it, which is pretty hard to do considering it typically hovers just high enough off the ground so that Sora can't reach it. Not to mention its attacks, especially those when it absorbs Barrel, can be pretty devastating. Number 9, Scar. Pride Land's first visit. Oh, your kingdom's gonna rise again! But this time, as the Pride Lands of Darkness! Scar has always been one of our favorite Disney villains, even before his inclusion in the Kingdom Hearts series. He's clever, cunning, and downright nasty in the most delicious way imaginable. Add fast as hell and deadly to that list, and you've got yourself this boss fight. Scar is one of the fastest enemies in the game, making him hard to hit and unrelenting when he hits you. His claws can really pack a punch, too. Number 8, The Experiment, Halloween Town's Second Visit. Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! This pick teetered back and forth between being considered a difficult boss versus an annoying one, but we ultimately awarded it the number 8 slot on our most difficult list. The main difficulty this fight provides is that there's very little pattern to it. Basically you just bash its various body parts a little bit at a time as opportunities present themselves, but in the meantime you've got to deal with attacks that are pretty much impossible to avoid, even more impossible to counter, and just flat out come from every single direction. There's so much going on in this battle that it's difficult to keep up, let alone keep from getting killed. Number 7. Barbosa and the Illuminator, Port Royal First Visit. Another pick that went back and forth between difficult and annoying, the battle against Captain Barbosa ended up being difficult for several reasons. His attacks, or should I call them onslaughts, are lethal and can take out practically all of your HP in a single assault. He's immune to physical damage while he's in the shadows, which make up like 90% of the room in which you fight him, so it's hard to even land a hit on him in the first place. And let's not forget the most difficult part, keeping Jack Sparrow alive. That's right, regardless of Sora's condition, if Jack loses all his health, even once, you lose the entire battle. I know that sounds more annoying than difficult, but it's pretty much even in our book. Number 6, Ground Shaker, Pride Land's second visit. The Ground Shaker is by far one of the most difficult bosses in the entire series. Its overwhelming size and ridiculously high HP make taking it down a serious undertaking. And the fact that you're forced to have the ever useless Simba in your party, instead of Donald or Goofy, pretty much forces you to do everything yourself. Taking down this giant requires a series of well-timed reaction commands, followed by some strategically placed combos and perfectly executed reflex spells all while maintaining enough MP to actually block and heal as you require. Thank God that Simba doesn't have to stay alive in this battle, though, or this would have very easily slipped into annoying territory. Number 5, Saix, The World That Never Was. Kingdom Hearts. Where is my heart? This battle requires precision timing, expert use of reflect magic, and a whole lot of dumb luck. Saix's attacks are brutal and relentless, truly living up to his status as the king of berserkers. One wrong move in this battle, and it's good night moon. Number 4, Zigbar, the world that never was. 
All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. Another member of Organization 13 who should not be taken lightly. Zigbar is quick and unyielding, lobbing magic bullets left and right in an all-out frenzy of attacks. His ability to warp across the room and unleash a volley of shots in only a few seconds flat means you need to be quick with those buttons if you want to come out victorious. Number 3, Xemnas, The Final Battle, The World That Never Was. If light and darkness are eternal, then surely we nothings must be the same. Eternal. The final battle of any game should be difficult, but Kingdom Hearts 2's final battle is among the hardest final bosses in the entire series. Xemnas' advances are extremely powerful and extremely unpredictable. You'll spend about 75% of this fight attempting and failing to block or avoid his attacks, and about another 15% running away to heal in between beatings. The remaining 10% is reserved for this ridiculous test of thumb dexterity. Number 2, Demix. Hollow Bastion's second visit. Silence, traitor. Nobody was expecting the organization's resident doofus to be this much of a powerhouse, but Demix is absolutely no pushover. He unleashes devastating assault after devastating assault and is practically impossible to hit without suffering some serious consequences. Perhaps Demix said it best. You shouldn't judge anyone by appearance. Number 1, Zaldin. Beast's Castle Second Visit. If we had a nickel, no wait, a penny, for every time we lost against Zaldin during our very first playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2, we'd never have to work for a living again. The fight against Zeldin is a heart-pounding, nail-biting, stomach-churning endeavor that left many a gamer in tears. From the expert timing required for every single aspect of the fight, to the heavy damage incurred from just a single swing of his lances, to the downright unfair barrage of devastating blow after devastating blow, Zeldin is without a doubt our top pick for Kingdom Hearts 2's most difficult boss battle. So that's it for our countdown of the top 10 hardest bosses in Kingdom Hearts 2. If you liked what you saw here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get alerts right when new episodes of Destiny Island's Top 10 come out. If you have an idea for a top 10 list you'd like to see us cover on the show, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Other Promise 13 from DestinyIslands.com, and this has been Destiny Island's Top 10.